What's up guys? When the best truck gun is a shotgun. On today's episode of Killing Zombies, while listening to the Beach Boys, wouldn't it be nice? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Outlaw, what in the pinochle are you talking about? There ain't none of us want to shoot a freaking shotgun for our primary truck gun. Well listen, I totally agree with you, but only on Tuesdays. Got the club going up on the Tuesday. Today, guys, is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, we have to know that there are a lot of people that might actually have to use one of these buckshot slingers. And I'll tell you right now, you're not undergunned in any form or fashion. Dudes, eight and a half million of you are returning viewers. Thank you for that. Why haven't you subscribed yet? Why would I choose a shotgun for my truck gun? Well, one of the things is it's very versatile. You have to understand not all of the time are you shooting people or bad guys or bad critters. Sometimes you might need to shoot a bird or a snake. You might want to use a little bird shot. <laughs> bird shot's cheap. It does things that buckshot and slugs don't do. Guys, not everything is self-defense. Something is ranch defense and it's really important. <laughs> Understanding fully that you're gonna fight with what's in the gun or what's on the gun. You wanna be equipped properly. We gotta thank our ammo sponsor for today's video, Last Shot. Use code OUTLAW, it's important, it helps us, it helps them sponsor us. Use code OUTLAW for free shipping and no taxes. Now I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, hey bro, what the hell are you talking about? Shotguns don't shoot far enough. So let's just decide to go and let's go to five yards and this is a pretty good self-defense spot at five yards. I've heard a lot of you say, bro, it's going to go through my wall. I'm going to shoot at the lower half of this target because we already got one in there. You ready? All right, looky there, boys and girls. This is all of the pellets at five yards in the size of your fist. You didn't put a bunch of holes in your wall. Let's try 10 yards now. 10 yards, hey, 10 yards is like an average shot to like a truck. 10 yards. Oh, oof, oof. Look at there, 10 yards, got them all. The size of my hand at 10 yards. Bros, 10 yards, do you even have a spot in your house that's 10 yards? And think about this, 10 yards, that's a long ways. 10 yards, size of my hand, I got them all on him. I didn't miss, 15 yards. Some of you aren't a believer. I see you, I know you, you're not a believer. Here we go. <laughs> and some of you call this a, look at that, that's a double pellet. That's a doble pellicite. Look at that, all of that is on your guy at 15 yards. Buh, buh, he's gonna die. Don't nobody cry at me, I shot this one with bird shot already. Here we go, 20. Ooh, I felt it. 20, I got them all out on 20, right? One, two, three, four. Here's my ninth one. Oh no, here's my ninth one. It kind of went right. I kind of think the gun might be just a little bit right, but pattern's opening up. Hey, listen, why is the pattern opening up? So I'm gonna use my Exodus knife and tool. This is called the jackalope. Y'all ever seen a jackalope before? You gotta make sure you don't cut your fucking fingers. Don't do this at home unless you're a professional. Me, I am not a professional. I just pretend to be on YouTube. Here is our pellets. This is the nine pellets that come out of this. This is nothing. This just holds the stuff in there. This is your wad. Let's go look at the wad. At five yards, these are my pellets. This is my wad. Did you see that when you were like, how in the hell did that get there? Pellets, wad. This boys and girdles is your gunpowder. Primer, brass that holds the explosion. Spongy thing that holds the gunpowder down sets on top of the wad, the pellet set inside the wad, and it goes boom. What happens is you have a perfect pellet. When you have all of the pellets flying in a perfect way, you're gonna get a perfect group. When you have one pellet that gets dinged like this on the side of the shotgun barrel, boosh, what happens is now you get your flyer, which is why if you have the choice to get buckshot, get steel buckshot, not lead buckshot. Now for the hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, let me show you what it looks like when you have bird shot so you guys can kind of have a good understanding. Here's bird shot, ready? There it is. Here's a perfect example of the difference in bird shot. See all this little bird shot? Look how small these little BBs are. 
it fits like perfectly in that little hole because it went in that hole. And then you got buckshot that fits here. So you got nine essential 38 special bullets coming at you here, where with buckshot, you got a lot of peppering. Listen, I understand that some of you are gonna say, hey bro, if you shoot somebody with bird shot, they're not gonna die. You're right, they may not die, but I guarantee to you they're gonna run. Why are you running? Why are you running? For those of you who are true haters, I wanna show you something. We're gonna come right back down here and I'm gonna cut a shell just above the wad, gunpowder wad. Now watch this. We're gonna take this shell when all else fails and we don't know what we're gonna do and the bad men are coming after us. We're gonna take said shell, we're gonna put said shell into said gun and we're gonna, boom, we're gonna shoot that bastard. Look at there, he ejected just like, oh, it wouldn't eject. I heard all you naysayers say it wouldn't eject. It's not in there anymore. All right, look at here. You made one beautiful piece of a buckshot. So if you're like, dude, I can't afford buckshot, if you can afford birdshot, you can make a nice little cut in there. At least you got your first one as a slug. One of the things that I like about a shotgun as your truck vehicle is your ability to load it how you would like to load it. One way that many, many moons ago when I was doing this for a living and carrying a shotgun that I loaded it was I put two buckshot. Now remember, a buckshot gives you capability for sure to 100 and depending on you and your gun, maybe to as far as 150. So let's just say that me and you, me and two, we're going along and we've got rounds inside of our deal here and we're all buckshot. Now listen, early on in our careers, what we did was we loaded buckshot slug, buckshot slug, buckshot slug, and where it was, the idea was the first two rounds were buckshot. So it was buckshot, buckshot, slug, buckshot, slug, buckshot, slug. That was for years, that was how we did it. Now, I don't, I don't do that anymore. The reason I don't wanna do that anymore is because I wanna know what I'm shooting because who knows if you're in the middle of it. You see how fast these shotgun shoots? What I don't wanna do is be like, oh, shoot a monkey in the foot, Mr. Bad Guy, time out. Let me see if this is a slug or not. I don't want to do that because if it's a piece, if it's a buckshot and I need to shoot him at 75, I might shoot somebody I didn't want to shoot. So here's what I recommend. Either do all slugs or do all buckshot. I think I did hear just the other day that Colonel Jeff Cooper did all slugs. I personally do all buckshot. I like to turn my slugs up like this and put my buckshot down like this. Remember, you're going to fight with what's in the gun or what's on the gun. Now, here's the thing about these automatic shotguns that I really like. I have one in here. Watch this. Let's just say... I need to now shoot this target over here at, uh, how far is that? 80 yards, all right? So I'm here and I'm like, wait a minute, buckshot's not gonna work. I can eject this buckshot. I can reach over and I can grab this slug and put it in here, drop it down, and have a slug shot at 80 yards. Now, right after I just did that with the slug, I reloaded, what did I reload? A buckshot. So that's how you do a slug changeover. The reason I like that, the reason why I think it's such a big deal is because it gives you versatility. I can shoot 100, 150 yards. I can shoot up close. I can shoot critters. Dudes, you never know when you're gonna have to shoot the old raccoon moving down the road. You never know when there's a fox in the chicken coop. Let me show you a feature, one of the features about these shotguns. Um, this one right here is a Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol. One of the reasons I chose it is because it's like sub a thousand bucks. And if it's your truck gun, you have to just realize in today's age with all these pieces of <laughs> out there, you, you pieces of <laughs> let's blur that out, Jaden. Why do you guys got to steal stuff? Anyway, listen, the reason why is because if you lose this, you lose a thousand bucks. That sucks. I do have a Surefire light on here. Remember Surefire, if your life depends on it, it gives me the ability to turn the light on, turn the light off, use it as I need it. So, hey, listen, guys, I might need to just turn this light on and set it down and change a flat tire. That's how versatile this shotgun is. All right, now I have an Aimpoint Acro P2 on here. Do you need one? Man, this is a debated subject between a lot of my friends, a lot of guys like giants in the industry. Do you need an optic on your shotgun? The answer is, it depends, and probably not. But do I like it? Yes, I like it. I like it for field purposes. I like it for being out here. I like it for having to make an 80 yard shot. But do I need it in my house? No. So um, it's 50-50. Do you need it? No, not at all. Do I have it because it's Gucci? It's Gucci, baby. Yeah, baby. I have S-Tech, whatever these little bungee things are, little Paget Velcro 
whatever they are. I like these, you should have these. It keeps you loaded. And remember, you're only gonna fight with what's in the gun or on the gun, so you need to have stuff in the gun and on the gun. I wanna show you guys this. The way that this is designed is, it's gonna work, it, the gun won't be loaded unless you do one of two things. Either thing one, pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, it's gonna put, to, put a bullet in there and then you can, boom, there you go. You wondered why I had my AirPods on? It's because I knew I was gonna shoot. All right, the other reasoning is, the other thing you can do is, I haven't pulled the trigger, there's no bullets in here. This is called cruiser ready. Push this button right here, boom, it's gonna drop one in there so that when you pull it back, take a look, it's gonna be here so you can, boom, there we go. That's how that works, that's the purpose of that. All right guys, one of the things is, if you are a hunter and you've been a quail hunter, a dove hunter all your life, you're gonna have no problem loading your shotgun. But if you haven't been, I recommend you start hunting. Like if there was a bird, it could be like whack, 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 boom. See what I'm saying? That's how I practice. Anyway, the reason why is you're gonna wanna be able to reach into your right pocket. Notice how I grabbed one one way and one the other. It's no big deal. I can feel that. I don't have to look. I wanna be able to reach into my left pocket. If you're one of these dove hunters, duck hunters that you ain't been practicing with your left hand, you should be able to load with your right and your left hand. And you should be able to come here and load off the bottom and load off the top shouldn't matter to you one way or another you should be able to load that sucker don't get your finger caught because that hurts but as long as you can get that woo! did you see that slug push me back a little bit more that slug kicks really bad <laughs> one of the things that you got to remember whenever you're using a shotgun is the shotgun doesn't load itself and the shotgun takes a long time to load so no matter what you're doing, while you're walking, while you're talking, while you're looking around, each time you shoot, reload that shotgun every single time. Because once a shotgun goes drop, it is really freaking hard to load this thing. There are a lot of good benefits of a shotgun. One of them is killing a T-1000 like Sarah Connor. Another one is, Hip shooting. I know everybody here is like, when he comes into my house, I'm gonna give him a hip shot. Let's just honestly see if that's true. I don't know if it's true. Let's take a look. 10 yards, this is 30 feet. This is like longer than your freaking hallway. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom, Jay! Holy pinochle, Jayton, can you freaking believe this? I'll be a son of a bitch. You can hip shoot a motherfucker from 30 feet inside your house. What, the? just the, take a shotgun. I will say this though. Uh, to all of you haters of the old shotgun, who I can't see all the comments right now. A shotgun's gonna make a mess. A shotgun's gonna blow through them. A shotgun's gonna hit everybody. Look at this video right here I just did. Pistols put holes in people. Rifles put holes through people. Shotguns at the right range with the right load will physically remove a chunk of shit off your opponent and throw that shit on the floor. It didn't go through the ballistic gel any further than a pistol did jack wagons. It just put nine shots in them instead of one. Nine nine millimeters instead of one. It didn't go off the target in the whole piece of your freaking house. Don't, you don't live in no freaking mansion. Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. You don't live in no mansion. It didn't shoot through all of your freaking walls. Nah, man, it kills your bad guy. He's on the ground, but somebody's gonna have to get a shovel and pick that shit up. But it's gotta be the right load at the right range. Is a shotgun the most versatile weapon? I think so, in the hands of a pro, with the right load at the right range. It's awesome. Is it the best truck gun? Guys, it's a good truck gun. It depends on who you are. I can't tell you what's the best for you. I can't tell you what's the best for your mom and dad. I can't tell you what's the best for your Uncle Joe. I really don't know. The truth is, the shotgun is a great tool to have. I always have one with me, along with some other truck guns. But I do like this, and I don't feel like you're undergunned. She's fast. You guys know, in full disclosure, we're supposed to say who gave us these. This is provided by yours freaking truly. Ain't nobody sponsored me for this gun. I own most of these guns. But I'll tell you what, if y'all want to help me out, support this channel, check out our merch. Ooh, she's coming. And our Patreon.